What's going on folks, this is Hero Stormwolf, and welcome to my official review of Hatred. Now before we get started, there is going to be some strong suggestive language and violence in this review. If you are of the weak of heart or you find that offensive, you have been warned. Let's get started. My name is not important. What is important is what I'm going to do. I just fucking hate this world and these human worms feasting on its carcass. Simplicity is the name of the game when it comes to Hatred. Literally all you get is that you play as a character named the Crusader who believes that everyone needs to die and is sick and tired of humanity's existence. That's basically it when it comes to the story. There's no background story, there's no premise, there's no reasoning, there's no character development. Literally all you get is that one little part of dialogue at the very beginning of the game and then you just go on from there. Chalk it up with a few corny one-liners and some cheesy dialogue and you pretty much have the story for Hatred. Which is sad because there could have been something really, really cool with this premise that they wanted to go for, but alas, what you see is what you get. <laughs> Giving credit where credit is due, Destructive Creations actually made really good use of the Emerald Engine 4, more specifically its lighting and physics engine. The black and white meshed in with the red from the blood, red and blue from the sirens, and the fire really, really fits well with the overall atmosphere. The physics engine is actually really interesting too, as a lot of destructive environment and the way the bodies interact with each other is actually really, really cool. That being said, the use of this actually has some performance issues on the game itself. Unfortunately, the game fails to maintain a steady FPS of even 30 frames per second. Especially during executions, the game dropped down to as low as 15. Now this can be fixed with some optimizations, but it should be noted that there is performance issues with throughout the game. Hatred at its core is a twin stick shooter to where, as I said before, your main objective is to pretty much kill every human being that you see. You're allowed three weapons and three types of grenades, which you can pick up weapons from police officers, civilians, and things like that on the field. And that's pretty much about it. There are side quests, but they still amount to you just going to another location and killing more people. The game itself isn't really hard, except for the fact that there is no checkpoints, instead opting in for respawn tokens by doing a side quest as I mentioned before, which those are just killing a certain amount of people in a certain area. Add on to the fact that the only way that you regain your health and hatred is to actually make use of the execution moves. The game is very, very repetitive, very rinse and repeat. I can see it as being fun for maybe a few sessions after that, you'll pretty much get the flow of what the game is. Some of the weapons are okay, but there's not enough ammo to use them, such as the flamethrower later on. So, there's really not much to the gameplay in terms of variety. It's really meant to be one of those games where you just like, ah, I guess I'll play some hatred, you pick it up, you play maybe a short level or something, and you put it back down. Not really much to it, not much enjoyment out of it, it's very repetitive and very basic, even in terms of a twin stick shooter. So at the end of the day, Hatred is exactly what you expect it to be. It is a very basic twin stick shooter, which tried to ride on the hype and controversy that was surrounded it ever since its announcement. I cannot recommend you pick up this game, especially when there's other better twin stick shooters out there, or other games in general that has the same price tag as Hatred. Again, the game's not necessarily bad, it's just there's not enough content or not enough substance behind all the controversy and hype around it that the game received. So that's my official review of Hatred. Like it, dislike it, let me know what you guys think of the game down below in the comment section, and I will catch you guys in the next review. Later.